Okay, guys, really quick, we're going to go through a real fast installation of the CUDA Deep Neural Network. Uh, this is kind of exciting. It's um, it's important for when we're doing stuff because it speeds stuff up. It's one of the things that makes NVIDIA so excellent. Um, think about it like if you had a bunch of Legos, right? And you're trying to build something, but you got like thousands. You're going to build one of these big boats, right? Like the Lego store. Um, and that would take forever. But now imagine you had a robot that was able to process each piece really good and go and, and do this really fast for you. Okay. That's what the CUDA Deep Neural Network does. Um, and it works on top of the CUDA Toolkit that we installed. So before you install this, you need to go ahead and make sure that you have CUDA installed. Install the 11.8. That's gonna, just going to be your easiest one, especially following these tutorials here. The 12, you just don't really need it. It's kind of overkill. But... Um, we're going to get this installed. This is a manual install. It's really not that difficult. Um, so, uh, hey, it's going to be awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and move forward with the install. But before we do, please go ahead and like this video and share it because it really does help the community. So thank you so much. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on over to um, the Internet here. And how we start is we're just going to do this. We're just going to type CUDNN download. Okay. We're going to look for this one. You always want it to be from the NVIDIA developer. Click that. Now, if you haven't installed, uh, downloaded from them before, they're going to ask you to, um, to sign up. Okay. So just go ahead and get a thing and then it will pop you into here. And then we're going to click this little download CUDNN library. We're going to click on our Windows architecture. And then we're going to click tarball. Now, before you get too excited, that's just a zip file. So we're going to click on our CUDA version, click 11. And then what we're going to do down here is just download the base installer. Let's see. Let's make this smaller so you can see what the heck's going on. And we're just going to click this. Okay. And that will download. it. Now, it's not really important where you download. Just download it to your download folder. Um, and then you're going to extract it. Okay. So once you... Uh, once you extract it, then we're going to copy file. So hold on just a second. We're going to extract it to a folder like this. Okay. So it's going to be there. Then um, if you notice, you go in here, it's got all of these files here. So now we're going to manually put these where they need to go. So let's, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to the internet here. Okay. So we have the download. Okay. So now what we're going to do is scroll down here to where it says documentation. Okay. So let's go ahead, click that. Okay, it's going to bring us over to here. Don't worry about any of this. Let's just go over to the left here where it says installing uh, CUDNN on Windows. Scroll down here, and this is what we're looking for. These are the important parts here. Okay, so if you have already installed it, you have downloaded it into here, what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to follow each direction here. So we're going to copy all the files that are in this folder. And we're going to put them onto this existing folder. Now, this folder will exist if you've already installed the CUDA toolkit. Okay, so that's where you go over here and you type CUDA download. And then you're going to go find this, your CUDA toolkit 11.8. And you're going to just drill through all of this as well. So if you haven't already done that, then you need to go and install that first before we get this moving forward. So let's go back to our instructions. Okay, and we're going to click back over to here. And so what we're going to do, we're going to go to that folder that we already, um, that folder that we already extracted, and we're going to look in the bin folder. And then we're going to grab every, that star means everything. At, so every file that has CUDNN and then whatever comes after it. Okay. So we're going to look over there. Let's click over to here and we'll see that, oh, there's our bin folder. Okay. And we can see all these have CUDNN. And then so that star means everything after it. So we're just going to highlight all of these. Press Control C to copy them. Okay. And then if we go back to our instructions, you'll see it says to go to uh, Program Files, NVIDIA, CUDNN, XBIN. So let me set this up so you can see it just a little bit better. Okay. There we'll keep those instructions there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go click on our C file. Okay, then we're going to click Program Files, not the one that says x86, that's something different, the one that just says Program Files. Okay, then we're going to click on our NVIDIA folder. 
Then we're going to click on the CUDNN folder. Okay, then there's our version. Okay, we're going to click bin, and then we're going to paste them. Now, I've already got mine in here, so uh, yours will be empty. You just paste it. Okay, now we're going to go back and look at our instructions again. Okay, the next one says we need to go into the include folder and grab everything uh, in that folder, or everything that starts with CUDNN. So we'll go back here, scroll back to where we were. Okay, and there's the include folder. So we'll go in there, notice there it's all of them. So same thing, we'll highlight those, copy them, go back to our uh, NVIDIA. Oh, and look at there's the include folder. So then we're gonna paste it there. Okay, now the instructions say we need to get everything out of the libx64 file. So let's go back to there. And there's lib, there's x64, so same thing. We're gonna copy that bad boy. Then, same thing, We last time we're going to go back to our NVIDIA, or our program files, NVIDIA, CUDNN, and there we go. We're going to paste those into there, okay? So, uh, notice that the one here that we were, but it doesn't have the X64 like it does, it's just there. So, don't get confused with that. You just go straight into this folder and paste it. So, now... We have actually installed the um, the files that we need. The CUDA Deep Neural Network is installed, but you might think that we're done. Oh, no, no, no. There's one more thing we have to do. We have to make this available to the system so that when programs are looking for it, they know where to go. So let's scroll down here, and we need to set an environmental variable. Don't worry about any of these instructions. Those are just confusing. Just go ahead and copy. Oh, let's see if we can. Here we go. Don't worry about any of this stuff here. All we want is this. Highlight this. Copy that. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to go to one of these weird screens for a second, and I'm going to walk you through how to set your environmental variable. So let's click over to this bizarre thing, and we're going to click Start. Type ENV, and you'll notice it says Edit the System Environmental Variables. So let's click that. Then we're going to click Environmental Variables. Now we want this one down here, System-Wide Variables. Scroll down here to where it says Path. We're going to click edit and then now just now I can scroll down here. I've already got installed, but you're just going to click new. All you got to do is press control V and paste that in there. Okay. Now I've already got it in the show. I'm going to cancel, but you'll paste it in and then press OK. Then you press OK. Then you press OK. And boom, your um, variable is set up. Okay. So now all you got to do is restart your terminal and it has access to it. So now if you're running applications that are looking for that CUDA deep neural network, um, it's going to find it. Okay. Sometimes when you're trying to run some of these apps, it, it'll say things like you can't find a CUDA. And this is why, because these folders have to be in the right place. You're set up. You're ready to go. You are so golden that it makes my face hurt thinking about it. You're doing so good now. So the CUDA deep neural network has been installed. We made sure CUDA uh, Toolkit was installed. We downloaded the CUDA Deep Neural Network and extracted it to an easy folder to get to. Okay? Then we went to over to the instructions and we just copied each file into the correct place uh, on our C drive, Okay, into the already installed NVIDIA. Then we went over, set up an environmental variable. Easy peasy. Okay? Put it in there and now we're ready to go. If anything needs it, it's going to need it. And I'm going to tell you, a little precursor here. There's a reason we're going through this because I have some exciting uh, software coming up that I'm just like giddy about. You guys are going to freak out about. This is going to get us all ready to be running that. Um, it is goodness popping out of the ground like a tulip. What we're going to be doing is it's really cool stuff. So hang in there. Keep watching the site. We'll be back later. If you have any questions, let me know. And yo, as always, stay good. And uh, we'll catch you on the other side. Yo.